Let the peace, love, and blessing of the Almighty God be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Veganism. An everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth Leader Olumba Olumba Abu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson. St. Mark chapter 1, verse 6. And John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of skin about his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey. Second lesson, Romans chapter 14, verse 21. It is good neither to eat flesh, nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth, or is offended, or is made weak. Golden text, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 13. Therefore, if meat make my brother to offend, I will eat no flesh while the world standeth, lest I make my brother to offend. The Spirit of Truth. Quote, we do not speak out of our own authority, but we speak as we are empowered by our Lord Jesus Christ. As John the Baptist had said, no man can have anything except it be given him from heaven. Our Lord Jesus Christ confirmed this when he said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Albeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Locust was not insect, but beings. The first correction that I have to make is the epic translation which renders locus in our first lesson as an insect of the grasshopper species. This is a blatant and misleading translation. It means locus beans and not locus as an insect of the grasshopper species. A sample of the bean is what I am holding up, which you should all look at. If you argue that it is locust, the grasshopper, does that not mean that John fed on an animal? Because locust, the insect, is an animal. As God had said that the fruits and seeds of all herbs and trees shall be food for man, that was why John ate the locust beans. The misleading translation should be corrected with immediate effect. Since it was God who sent John to the world to practice the truth, that was why it was said beforehand that John would come neither eating meat nor drinking wine. This was in consonance with the commandment of God in the beginning that the fruits and seeds of all trees and herbs should be man's food. It was for this reason that John the Baptist fed on locusts, beans and honey. Throughout his mission, he was not sick, but he was rather filled with power. That was a living example set for us. For this reason, do not go back into your former ways of life. God's prescribed food for man. You may begin to cogitate what manner of food you will eat. I am also going to tell you what God has said in this regard. The type of food prescribed for man by God is found in Genesis chapter 1 verse 29. From today, that should be your food. Today is the day to sort things out. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. Genesis chapter 1 verse 29. Beans. Melons, groundnuts, orange, papa, and pineapple are food, 
and all kinds of fruits and seeds are food for man. The instruction is that the fruit and seed of every herb bearing seed and every tree yielding seed shall be food for man. That is to say, all seeds and fruits and any herb or tree upon the surface of the earth shall be food. You are true witnesses to the fact that beans as a foodstuff is rich in all nutritional requirements and sufficient as food. I know, as you know, the food nutrient in beans. You know too about countless number of fruits and seeds abounding everywhere upon the surface of the earth. The essence of the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden is not a folk tale. It is simply a reality. If fruit bearing herbs and trees are planted, they provide people with more than enough food. From the time the knowledge became elusive to the people of the world, they departed from the path of God. The Spirit of God in man was dead, and the Spirit of God departed from man. There was no time that God instructed man to kill and eat birds, animals, or locusts, insects, because these animals have their kingdoms. God's motto is, live and let live. The earthworm has its kingdom. Birds have their own kingdom. God does not tell you to have conflict with them, but has spotlighted that all the fruits and seeds of herbs and trees shall be your food. Have you fed on fruits and seeds and not satisfied? All the problems in the world which hinders man from knowing God and and the imminent ruin of man results from eating meat and fish. By this act, the world has departed from the ways of God to the path of perdition. Eating of meat brings about sickness, affliction, gnashing of teeth, and death to man. You can bear witness that if God did not love man by sending John the Baptist in this fashion, the world would have perished. You will note that it was neither John's father nor mother or priest who advised John not to eat meat, since they were killing and eating animals with bones and skin. As our Lord Jesus Christ had said, Anyone who is filled with old wine will not need new wine because he will always say that the old is better for him. But in this case, what option do you have? I know many of you will not sleep. Your hearts are troubled about the seeming difficulty in practicing this gospel. What is so difficult in practicing this gospel? This is the first instruction given by God to man. Many people complain of what to do and argue if they cannot eat things like egg or milk. Egg is a bird. Milk is taken from an animal and so it is part of the animal. Do not eat any of these things. The only food prescribed for man is either fruit or seed. If you love life, follow this prescription. Our Lord Jesus Christ, at the end of every preaching, would say, Those who have ears, let them hear. The children of God, who are the children of this kingdom, do not find it grievous to practice. It is rather pleasant to practice. If you follow the prescription, you will no longer be sick. You will have no pains. 
and there will be no movement of objects in your body system which you attribute to witches and lizards. The fish and meat you eat causes these problems because you have eaten the forbidden fruit. I do not yet want to dwell on the repercussions of eating meat and fish. The penalties and disadvantages I do not treat. I am only dealing with the superficial aspect. And at another time, I will speak of the disadvantages, repercussions, and the untold penalties to mankind. If I go on to expatriate on this issue, you will cry and shout to the top of your voice. If you eat a piece of meat, it is poisonous. Animals have instinct, but lacks thinking faculty. Do you not know that animals are human? God your creator also created goats, hens and all the animals. He first created them before creating you. Your brethren are the animals. Any animal is your brother and you are a brother to the animal. If any cut is inflicted on you, blood will come out. Blood will also come out if a cut is inflicted on a goat or hen. If you compare the blood, they look alike. You have instinct and they too have instinct. If there is a person in this building, <coughs> an animal, <coughs> excuse me, an animal will know that there is a person. While humans are oblivious to such presence, when you speak, the animal hears. The animal equally speak, but since God has given you the power of superintendence over them. You should cater for their welfare. You are not told to kill them. Because of this role, God gave the reasoning faculty to you, which is the likeness of God in man. That is the only aspect that man surpasses animals. Otherwise, the animals could manufacture guns and shoot you as you manufacture to shoot them. Animals smell, see, hear, speak and walk. The only sense that eludes them is the reasoning faculty. God did this intentionally so that man can use it as the instrument of governing the animals animals and trees kingdoms i tell you that they enjoy themselves in their own kingdom more than you to the extent that they do not even imagine there are other kingdoms when you see them gathering you feel they are playing not knowing that they are deliberating on a very important business they have various institutions as we have. They have chiefs, police force, the army, and every other institution. All animals created are both male and female. The trees have their own kingdom. They attend meetings, have their chiefs, converse, and do their own thing their own way. Their kingdom is equally very enjoyable. If I say that you are a member of either the plant or animal kingdom, you will wonder how. Do not bother about that aspect, but believe that you are also a tree, or a fish, or an ant, or a bird. Therefore, you are a brother or sister to them all. And they are your brothers or sisters. The use of animals. 
In the northern part of the country, Nigeria, and around the desert region, animals are used as means of transportation. These animals carry loads, listen to instructions, and do many other things. The horse is an example of such animal. If we were to know ourselves, we would train them all. They are the ones for man to govern. They can go on errands, carry loads, keep watch over the house while a man goes about his normal business. When you try to exercise such control and power over human beings, you will be opposed. The power of superintendence of man over animals is the first grace man lost. If you were to cater for and feed the snakes, goats, dogs, and other animals, they would watch the house, go on errands, sweep the floor, and do other domestic chores. Brethren, the effort we waste in training men, if we were to concentrate our attention in training the animal, they would have given similar responses. We would use them for our errands and sit back to enjoy our glory. What obtains now? You are antagonistic towards animals. While you kill them, they also attempt to hurt you. With such a situation, can you exercise any control and authority over them? The grace that eludes man you can see how the white trained dogs and other animals if you keep a dog to watch over premises and it barks it scares people off there are various things animals can do if they are trained if you train a parrot for instance it can call somebody's name and report situations in your absence, the parrot can keep record of all those who call at the house and report when you return. That is one grace man has missed. It is on this basis that we are told to love them. If we were to love them, redirect our attention to training them, they would pick up. A human baby is born with the same characteristic features as animals and into similar circumstances. If the animal be given the same care, attention and treatment as its human being counterpart at birth, massaging, the, and, massaging and stretching the necessary parts of the body, cutting hair and clothing, the animal would respond as human beings. You are not more beautiful than an handsome than animals. They hear when they are spoken to and can move when they are told to do so. Some animals can convey you as well as loads from one place to the other. That is one grace man has missed because of stupidity. Animals are also human. More so you know. More so you do not know that when you kill an animal, you have killed a human being. When, for instance, a native doctor demands a cock and a hen from you, he is in effect asking for a man and a woman. He does not know this, and you do not know too. But the moment the cock is killed, a man is dead somewhere. When you kill a cock, you have become a murderer and will stand before the judgment seat of God to answer for it, and you will be killed. Can you realize why you are told not to kill any fish or bird or any other animal? It is because they are all human beings. Abel did not know that all the sheep he was tending were all humans. When God demanded that Cain and Abel should offer sacrifices unto him, Abel threw the fattest of his lambs and offered it to be burnt as sacrifice. He thought that he was presenting a ram, not knowing that he was offering himself. He gave his own life. It was not Cain that killed him. 
It was self-inflicted. Can you realize the wisdom I have brought to you? It is the recondite wisdom. If he did not offer that ram, he would not have given his life and nothing would have happened to him. You pray to God to take away debt. Where do you intend him to take debt? You are still killing fishes, hens, cocks, and other animals. Are those not human beings you are killing? People die as a result of what they do because of eating fish and meat man is overshadowed with darkness and he dies sickness anger animosity are all found in you